Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing another helpful video and that is how to get ChatGPT on your Android device. Now you can do this for any Samsung Galaxy smartphone or a Pixel phone or whichever Android device you have currently in your pocket. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how to do it. Now, first off, I wanna address AI in general. Want to warn you about the entire Play Store AIs that are not real and then get into how to do it. So first off, ChatGPT, it is a tool. There is a lot of things being uh, hyped and triggered right now about AI in general, and some of it does get to me too, I'm not gonna lie. But I will say that ChatGPT for me is a great tool to start or get over writer's block and get started on a project. So the About Me page on this channel was basically inspired by ChatGPT. Now it got a lot of things wrong, but it gave me a good way to begin it, a middle and an end, and then I completely rewrote it using my own ideas and own verbiage. But again, it gave me a starting point. Same thing with a lot of projects I've done recently at work. I just like, oh, what can I get started with this? Or what, what letter can I create addressing this subject? And it just gets me started and I love it for that reason. And that's what I use it for. It is a tool, just like the calculator and like the internet. Namely, that it could be dangerous things in the wrong hands, could obviously take certain jobs, take all these kind of things. They're all very scary, but hopefully when utilized right, we'd use it in the right way. Now, can it be utilized in the wrong way? Absolutely, just like tools from before, a car can be used in a very wrong way, or it can be used in a great way. So. That is just my take on it. Now, second thing I wanna get into is the Play Store. There are a lot of fake chat GPTs or AI in general on the Play Store. There is no official chat GPT or any app like that at the time of this recording. If there is, I will let you know in the comments section. I will put it and pin it to the top. But as of right now, there is no real one. So be careful, this is malware, spyware, all that kind of stuff to get your information. Do not download it from the Play Store. If you already downloaded it, immediately remove it. Now that being said, let me show you how to use it. So this is the website you want to go to openai.com. Very simple and easily, this is what it looks like. Right now we are on ChatGPT4, which is more advanced than previous ChatGPT3, and has a little bit more access to the internet instead of being held back from, originally I think ChatGPT3 was 2021 is when it stopped getting information, and now it can go a little bit further. So, you're gonna go right here, ChatGPT, try ChatGPT, and you are going to create an account. So you will need to create an account for this. Once you do, you're going to be able to log in. So you can sign up, I'm gonna just log in. All right, so here it is, and we started a new chat. I can go by previous chats too, but just to give you an idea of it, you can have some fun with it. So one thing I previously did before, which I thought was pretty funny, Tell me some pickup lines that a Harry Potter fan would like. Are you a snitch? Because I'm seeking you my whole life. Do you play Quidditch? Because you are the chosen one of my heart. Are you Patronus? Because when I think of you, I feel happy and protected. So yeah, oh, I think this was a good one. Uh, do you have a time turner? Because I love to go back in time and meet you sooner. Like those just, you know, fun things like that. So you can have lots of fun to them. And this one they nicknamed Harry Potter Pickup Lines. You can see all the previous things you've done. Uh, another example is, write me a script for the YouTube Tech Guy YouTube channel on the best smartphones of 2021. And here it was. I did a refresh instead of actually just hitting enter. So this is a full script for my channel on the best smartphones of 2021. So you can see it says like first up the S21 Ultra, which is a good one. Next up we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, all of the specs about it. Now I did 2021 because again, it does not know something newer than that. So if you ask it for questions about the S23, uh, basically it just tells you it doesn't really know anything about it because it is searching from before. So just know it is limited. All right, now what if you want this on your phone? Well, simple and easy. We're just going to actually go ahead and hit these little, three little dots and add it to home screen. You can put name it ChatGPT 
And once you have it there, you just go ahead and add it. And it's just that simple. Now when I want ChatGPT, I can just go ahead and tap this. It will open up, immediately go to it. Every once in a while, you would have to log back in. I think it took me about a week when I had to log back in, but otherwise you can just start typing and create lots of fun, simple things for it. It's immediate, it's awesome, and I highly recommend using it. Again, for me, I just like it just to get started on a project. It really helps me just get out of the, I don't know what to write about. Very simple and very easily. Let me know what you would use it for in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the whole thing? Let me know, I'm sure we'll get lots of different takes in the comment section. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, follow me on social media at YouTube Tech Guy. And check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.